What's up ladies and gentlemen? So today I'm going to be showing y'all how to do something a little bit different. It's not part of my regular tutorial schedule. It's going to take a lot longer, but I'm going to make it quick as possible. So let's get right into it. I'm going to show you how to do this. Basically, freezing the time anywhere in your animation, whether it's the dynamic animation or that's the keyframe animation. You can look down below at the timeline. You can actually see where I have it keyed for when the animation stops. Now, this is a dynamic animation. Doesn't matter if it's baked or not. I have like, you know, just some basic weights, some basic simulation going on here, but I've just set the time to stop any point I want. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. So if you come over here to your scenes properties panel, you'll see rigid body world. And right under there, you see speed. There, you can control your dynamics or your rigid body speed or your call speed or whatever type of speed you're looking to control. And you just set keyframe. Speed one is real time and speed 0 0.01 or 0.5 slows it down or 0, 0 actually brings it to a complete stop. You can also speed it up by putting in two or three. So you just put your keyframes wherever you want and just make sure you don't have your animation baked because if you, do, if you do have your animation baked, you will not see the changes. Now this does not work for keyframe animated like characters or automobiles for that phase. Really, you're slowing down your entire animation. So let me show you how to do that right now. Follow me over to the output properties. In your outputs properties menu, you see your time remapping. That might be closed, but just click on the little arrow and type in whatever new time you want. And you just give yourself some extra frames like I am doing. Give myself instead of 120, I'm going 240. Look at that. Perfect for like a superhero slow motion, strike a pose, like walk through a pose type of, yeah, all right, y'all get it. And so yeah, see the walk cycle is much slower now. Now this way is better in one sense because it slows down everything, even your dynamics, but we'll have to do some post production or get your start keyframes exactly when you want the slow motion to start. I will add your time remapping is kind of like a percentage, even though it doesn't look like it. If you change new to 200, it's going to move at 2x speed slower. If you put it to 500, it's going to be that multiple of that number. So keep that in mind when you're messing with the time remapper. Hey, that's all I had for y'all today. I hope this helps. Help me out by hitting that subscribe button, that like button, and consider supporting me on Patreon. That lets me know to keep making content like this and it allows me to help others. Go out and make some awesome stuff. Share some stuff with me. I would love to see your work out there. Drop some comments below. I'd love to help anybody with their questions. So that's it for today. Stay safe. Peace.